up for sale now vehicle max we have a beautiful 2009 mercedes-benz gl 450 formatic all-wheel drive silver on the outside with black leather interior completely loaded up with factory navigation color backup camera factory power moonroof plus rear sky view front and rear parking sensors factory dvd players and a number of other options that i'll get into in just a little bit it has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 32,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. All right, I got the vehicle running now so I can show you the DVD players. <clears throat> and they're both playing the same movie behind the headrest. This is a factory DVD installed unit. And uh, you put the DVDs in here, there's also a video input, and uh, the remote control is right there. We'll come back to the middle row section of the vehicle in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and concentrate up in the front for now. All right, the door panels are all black with the wood trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, cruise control, tilt wheel, power tailgate. It's got the Hartman Carden stereo sound system, illuminated kick plates. Driver side power seat power recliner with lumbar support and side skirt support as well as memory for up to three drivers. Automatic headlights that come on a sunset come off a sunrise. Power tail wheel. <coughs> and it's also telescopic. That means that you can make it go away from you as I'm doing or make it come out towards you. And the back of the steering wheel here you got these tabs. And that is for your manual shifting mode. This one's to downshift. This one is to upshift. And that's just an option. You don't have to control transmission manually. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. As a matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And there's no odor of smoke. So it looks like the previous owner may have been a non smoker. You got the um, curtain side airbags as well as seat side airbags on both the front row seats and the middle row seats. Uh, let me go ahead and get inside of it now and show you all the interior options. There's your navigation, but first let me put on the AC. It's nice and warm outside today. All right, we'll put it there where it's not too, too loud. You can still hear me talk. All right. Um, okay, so there's your navigation. And uh, before we get to the rest of the options, let me go ahead and um, show you the moonroof. It is a glass moonroof. It is tinted, but also has a hard cover that blocks out the sun and it's a one touch you don't have to hold the switch for the moonroof to open and we're gonna go ahead and leave it open for the duration of the video simply just for better lighting alright so there's um, your navigation let me adjust my seat just a little bit here alright there we go okay so uh, now if we put the vehicle in reverse we get the uh, color backup camera and that along with the parking uh, sensor should help you avoid any accidents um, I'm going to show you the front parking sensors better than the rear simply because the front parking sensors, I can see this here, where there's another one of these, it's in the roof mounted back there, but on the video it's too far, you're not going to be able to see it. So let's go ahead and put the car in drive instead, and let's pull up up to that green little uh, rain, uh, Land Rover over there, I'm going to show you how that works, okay? You're going to see it's going to start coming in from the right hand side, the little lines, then you know you're about to hit it. You see I'm coming in now? And eventually when I get close enough, it turns red and it beeps. Now it's showing closer on the right hand side than on the left hand side because we don't have a vehicle on this side and this one we're kind of coming in at an angle. So it, it, the front bumper sensors are picking up a little bit of the left hand side of the vehicle but the ones on the right are the ones that are picking up all the vehicle. As you can see right here where we're standing and then the rear uh, parking sensors do exactly the same thing except uh, the display is way back there and you're just not gonna be able to see it on the video but they beep and they act exactly the same way so now let's we've done that let's put the car in park 
Well, we're in gear. If you want to use the manual shifting mode, once you're in drive, you're going to tap over here to shift up and tap over here to shift down. And you'll see once you do that, it says D1. Now we're in the, uh, manual mode one. If you tap on the plus, it shifts up. If you tap on the minus, it shifts down. And um, if you don't want to do that, just put it back in the park or neutral whatever and then put it back in the drive and once you're in the, the automatic transmission we'll do the shifting for you okay uh, the vehicle has 102 uh, 102,632 miles above the odometer reading is uh, your triple odometer below that is the speed that we're going clearly nothing because we're not moving um, the car is running right now keep an eye on the tachometer on the right hand side of your screen I'm gonna rev the engine and the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine tune, no maintenance zoo, nothing like that. Everything is running and working perfectly. The only light that you see on there, well that's a, the seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. Uh, let's see what else. On the steering wheel you got remote controls um, and let's go ahead and put on some uh, music here. Uh, oh, you gotta, you gotta move it, how do you move it here? Up here. Okay, you press here, and now we're there. We're gonna hit the right arrow, press OK here, and now it takes us to audio. And now uh, you can raise the volume right here, right on your steering wheel. Low right here, mute it in the center. If Bluetooth equipped, once you uh, pair the phone to the Bluetooth, you're gonna answer the phone over here and hang it up over here. On this side, you got your um, onboard computer for personal settings and systems checked and that's all going to display right in that area where the odometer is at. Alright, um, let's see here. Let's go back to the navigation. Leave it on navigation. Okay, there's your navigation screen. You do have dual climate control. What I mean by that is this. I just went ahead and put the passenger side at 68 degrees while the driver's side is at maximum low. And all that really does is make the AC vents on the right hand side of the vehicle blow at 68, while the ones on the left hand side of the vehicles will blow at maximum low, uh, maximum um, uh, cooled or cooling or 60 degrees, whatever. I'm going to put it back to normal now because it's nice and hot outside. Uh, you do have heated seats with three different levels of comfort. If you press it once, it goes straight to high. Press it again for medium, one more time for low and one more time for off. And of course you got that on both sides. This button here is to disable the parking sensors. This one here is to control your suspension height to lower or raise the vehicle. This is for your different traction, uh, different terrain. And this one here is for your descent control. Um, let's see what else. Your main glove box is over here. And in here you have an uh, iPod interface and an auxiliary input for your uh, iPod music. This pocket here is for storage. This one down here is for your ashtray, which as you can see, doesn't even look like it's been used. Cup holders here in the center. Storage here in the center. Okay. Uh, you also got an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor up here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Below the mirror, you got these three little buttons. That is your home link or universal garage door opener, where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Up in the top here, you got map lights, uh, your sunroof control, and uh, the, to turn on the map lights, you press these switches over here and here. Okay. All right. All the windows are one touch, and what that means is this: you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down, or for that matter, you do have power folding mirrors. Okay. And that one, we're going to go ahead and unfold them now, so you can see they both work. All right. And same thing, one touch for the window up. And all four windows again are automatic. Let's pan over the dashboard. I don't know if I've done that yet or not, but just in case, let me do it again. Um, I just want you to make sure that you see that there's no cuts, tears, no burn holes, no cracks. Really in uh, perfect condition. Whoever had this car definitely took uh, good care of it. Looks like mostly highway miles from the condition of the vehicle inside and out. All right. Um, Let's go ahead and uh, turn off the car and let's move to the middle row section of the vehicle. I think we pretty much covered all there is to cover up here. If I miss something, if you have any questions, feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. My name is George. <coughs> Left rear door panel, same way, black with the wood trimming. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. I'll show you how that works. Flip that little lever down and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. 
That's in case you got little ones and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, just do the opposite and the interior door handle will start working again. Like I said before, you have seat side airbags in the middle row of seats. Uh, seven passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the middle is five. Two more in the rear for a total of seven. That's your rear sky view do there and it does have a shade that you can slide to block out the sun. You have anchors on either one of these two outer positions for your baby car seat. If you don't have a middle row passenger, you can flip this armrest and use it as a cup holder or armrest. Uh, what else here? Uh, you got also uh, your AC vents here for the rear row passengers. And you got curtain side airbags on the rear here as well. Uh, let's see here. This is a little uh, black, you see that black little trimming below the uh, dome light? That's the one that looks exactly like the one in the front for the parking sensors. But like I said on the video, wouldn't have, you wouldn't have been able to see it clearly. That's why we uh, demonstrate the one in the front rather than the one in the rear. Uh, okay, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. All the chrome trimming is in good shape. It's not cracked, pitted, or peeling. Rear wiper inside the glass, you got the little orange lines, which is your rear window defogger. Formatic again, which means it's all wheel drive. Right rear tail light. Uh, you got your parking sensors. There's four in the rear bumper, two on each side. And you got a class three heavy duty towing package there for all your towing needs. To open up the tailgate, there's three different ways to do it. You can simply just squeeze in here. The vehicle clearly has to be unlocked, otherwise it wouldn't work. You can do it from your remote control or from the switch on the uh, driver door panel. You got a, say, another cigarette light adapter here for your chargers. And on this side here, you got a um, plug just like at home, a 115 watt, a volt, or watt, whatever, a volt. And so you could run uh, anything that would actually that's actually compatible. This 50-50 uh, uh, bench row seat here, it's uh, power folding, and I'll show you how that goes. Just gonna do one side. And as you can see, it lays down completely flat. And because they're independent of each other, you can do one side and not the other, or you can do them both and go into full cargo mode. We're just gonna demonstrate one side so we can speed up the video and put it right back up. All right, um, let's come around to the passenger side here. I'm gonna leave the rear window open so you can have a little better lighting for the interior here. I wanna show you, I have a, another look at the rear uh, row seating area. All right, right rear door panel, same way. Black with the wood trimming. And now he, hopefully you can see a little bit better back there. You do have cup holders on either side and uh, the rear row passengers have their own over the shoulder belt which come out of the side back there and back over there. Uh, really clean, really nice. To gain access to the third row is very simple. You're gonna pull up um, on this here, then you're gonna pull up on this handle. This will flip down and give you nice and easy access to the third row. All right, uh, let's continue up to the front here. Uh, we're gonna see if we can conclude the video. It's kind of running long. But I wanted to see, I wanted to make sure I was as accurate as possible. Okay, right front door panel, by the way, your owner's manual with its casing and those supplemental booklets is right in there. Like I said before, you have illuminated kick plates. I don't know if you can tell, but those are illuminating right now in like a light blue color, really sharp looking. Uh, power seat, power recliner, lumbar support, and side skirt support, and memory for up to three passengers. Let's pan over the seating area one more time. Before we conclude the video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, right on the homepage, up at the top, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, Click submit at the bottom of the page and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.